question. Lockdowns and mandates, we're seeing things change very quickly, and rightly so. Dr. Tam has said that vaccine mandates should be reevaluated, and today the chair of the Quebec Liberal Caucus clearly and strongly stated it's time to end the divisiveness and the politicization and end the mandates. We Conservatives could not agree more. This cannot be a slow and dragged out process simply because of the Prime Minister's ego, pride, or denial. Canadians are too tired. Canadians need hope. So will the Prime Minister follow the science, follow the evidence, and the restrictions, and the mandates? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, everyone is sick and tired of lockdowns, of uh, the measures we have to do, of the sacrifices we've had to make. But Canadians have continued to step up over the past two years, been there for each other, been there to get vaccinated. And that's uh, the unity we've seen across the country of people who've been there for their neighbours, who've been there for their frontline health workers. That's what Canadians are going to continue to do. That's how we get through and back to the things we love. We're going to continue to follow the science. We're going to continue to have Canadians' backs. We're going to continue to protect people's lives. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, countries like Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Israel, Czech Republic, the UK, Di Spain, Denmark, they're all removing restrictions and mandates, and they're all countries that have a lower vaccine rate than Canada. Hmm. Here in Canada, though, we have a Prime Minister who refuses to lead and instead is being divisive. I have to agree with the MP for Louis Hebert when he says, people don't know where public health ends and politics begins. Canadians want their lives back. So again, I ask the Prime Minister, will you follow, will he follow the evidence? Will he follow the science and the mandates and the restrictions quickly? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, every step of the way, we have had Canadians' backs by following the science, by working closely with provincial... The or order, order. Now, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition asked a question, and she's trying to hear, but she can't hear it above all the uh, heckling and shouting that's going on. So I'm going to ask everyone to just keep it down so she can hear the answer coming from the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, from the beginning of this pandemic, we have followed science, we have had Canadians' backs, and we've actually seen uh, a uh, less severe impact on lives, on livelihoods, and our economy uh, than many other countries, including the ones that the Leader of the Opposition named. We will continue to follow the science, we will continue to lean on each other as Canadians as we make it through uh, this pandemic. Uh, we know that it's tiring, we know it's exhausting, but we all we also know that having each other's backs is the way through this pandemic. The Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, the Prime Minister has politicized the pandemic and been divisive, and even his own members are seeing it. Now, countries around the world are opening up, and even here in Canada, provinces are opening up. They're following the science and the evidence, whether it's Dr. Henry in BC, Dr. Moore in Ontario. They all agree we have to learn to live with COVID. Conservatives believe that living with COVID means opening up and ending the mandates, and I believe there are some Liberals who believe the same thing. So will the Prime Minister follow the science and the lockdowns and let Canada once again be the true North strong and free? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm extremely pleased to hear the Conservatives finally talking about following science, because that's something that they have fallen down on throughout this pandemic. Whether it was not choosing to get vaccinated, uh, whether it's continuing to debate uh, over the effectiveness of public health measures. Fortunately, we've been working with provincial premiers right across the country to bring in the kinds of restrictions, the kinds of mandates that have saved Canadians' lives. Unfortunately, we see Conservatives continuing to both call an end to the protests from in here and support them out there. They need to be more responsible leaders to get through this and to play less politics. Here, here.